Hey guys, welcome back. I've got <laughs> an unboxing to do for you, I guess. Guess what decided to finally show up this month? This is June's Witch Crate. Uh, <laughs> Before we get into this, I do want to know, I do want to let you guys know I have canceled this subscription. It was a pain in the ass to cancel this subscription. You can't just do it from their website. <laughs> you, if you go into your profile and you attempt to cancel because they are a CrateJoy um, box, they, they came from CrateJoy, their site was built off of their kind of um, template system. And everyone that works, not works, but uses CrateJoy, it's all the same format. So when you go into your profile to unsubscribe or to change your billing information or skip your renewal, anything like that, it's all the same. Except for which crate decided to remove the unsubscribe option. And I guess in the beginning they wanted to know and be very aware and maybe question the person, uh, send them an email as to why they were unsubscribing, maybe to better themselves in the future. I'm not, I'm not sure their motivations. I'm not sure why they removed it. If you go in there to unsubscribe, uh, it will just provide you with a message where the normal location is. Please email us. And they have a link for the word email. If you click on it, it's supposed to take you to their contact page. Uh, it doesn't, it takes you to a 404. So I sent an email out to their customer service team requesting to unsubscribe. Now I wasn't expecting to hear from them because I've sent two emails prior to this unsubscription email requesting information on my box. Uh, <laughs> I have still yet to receive any kind of correspondence from them email wise. Uh, <laughs> I've kind of been, I don't know if this is bad of me, but I've kind of been blasting them on all social media about this, leaving a comment on Instagram, Facebook, their Twitter. Twitter, I think, is dead, though. They're, they're not going to respond to that. Uh, not just to get in contact with them, because that seems like it's the only way to actually get a response from them. To let other people know what's going on, because while Witch Crate has closed from the public, you can still fill out an application to become a part of this. And it's it, it's kind of like a wait list, I assume. And maybe it's pick and choosy. I'm not sure what this whole application process is. I'm not, I was in this for a while now, so I'm not sure what that is. But uh, <laughs> I sent them an email because uh, I've been charged, I received my shipping email, I got my tracking number, and I'm pretty much the, that kind of person that watches their tracking number like a hawk. I like to know when it's going to be delivered, I like to know where it is exactly. I'm that kind of, I guess, anal person when it comes to my packages. It doesn't have to be a subscription box, any package. So when it didn't move two weeks later, uh, I sent them an email because that's not normal. I know May's box was severely delayed. It came in the middle of the month, the, the middle of the next month. Uh, so I first inquired if there was a delay on June's box as well because we all received <laughs> correspondence from them beginning of July, letting us know they were very sorry. It was like mass email to everyone who subscribed. We're very sorry about the delay in May's box. June won't be suffering the same thing. June's boxes are going out. Um, June's boxes never, you know, didn't move. Um, <laughs> when, so I sent them that email just to be like, hey, you know, I just want a little update on what's going on. It's not moving, is it lost? And then I started seeing other people and that's why I just decided, you know what, I'm done. Uh, you're not responding to my emails, you're not responding to other people's emails, I'm not the only ones having this issue, and you're not coming out and you're telling, you're not telling your subscribers what's going on. I know, like, I understand that they are a very independent, run by maybe one or two people, um, just hired more people to help, and they're very overloaded with all the subscriptions, but that doesn't justify or explain why you couldn't just send another mass email letting everyone know 
that there was going to be another delay, unforeseen circumstances. You could have taken more initiative and effort to do that. Um, especially when the email that you did send all your subscribers mentioned that you hired someone specifically to handle your customer service emails. So to me, it seems like they, whoever is in charge, decided to tell that person, hey, hold off on answering all the emails. Um, don't send anything, don't, don't respond to anybody. Um, simply because I feel like something happened, it was unforeseen but that's just not how you handle your customer service. And I don't know what it is with these boxes and poor customer service as of late. Now, I mean, this I'd rather take this than the bullshit that I got from Magical Folk, but um, this is just, it's poor customer service as well. Um, and it's unfortunate because I really, really, really do love this subscription. It's one of my favorites. And unfortunately, I'm just no longer a part of them. Uh, they did charge me at the beginning of July, so I should be receiving July's box. If I don't, if I don't even get a tracking email, there is going to be another problem with that because they did charge me. And this, these boxes are, including shipping, around $60 a month. A month. They, this is a monthly subscription. So I better get my July's box. They also said that they would be including a code or some kind of thing to get your next box free. Now, if I use that code, I better not get two July boxes. That, I'm very worried because of how I'm seeing them handle themselves and all this nonsense that's going on over there. I'm very worried to see what the future is gonna be like. And I remember saying it in my last video I could tell just in the quality of the items, I could tell something was wrong. And then when they mentioned that they were closing off to the public, I was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, something's wrong. So something is definitely not right over there at the office. Um, whether it, it really is that they can't handle the mass amount of people or not, I'm not sure what that is, but there is not there is something going on over there that's not right. And I'm just hoping that like this doesn't become a big fiasco because I don't even know if it's worth like stressing over if I do get two of the same boxes. Like I don't, I also don't want to get, like if I do get two boxes of the same thing, I don't want to give it away because it's not something I support any longer, especially with how, you know, how things are going it just I, I wish them the best and I hope that things get better and smoother and I hope that they get a little better when it comes to customer service but I right now I, I don't support them um, unfortunately but I am gonna unbox June's box I do apologize for it coming out end of July almost August but this is June's Witch Crate. All right, so it's the generic, you know, win a free crate, take a photo, share with, you know, everybody. It looks like this month was the theme, A Lotus Mind Resurrection. And it has all of the items inside. Now, Witch Crate is, is a company that generally makes their own items, so they do set their own prices. I've said this before. That's not something I 100% like, but this, this, okay, I'm not gonna show you, because this is my code, but, um, and I do want <laughs> kinda to use it because of what they put me through, but I do wanna show you that they stamped the top. I don't know if you can make it out. Um, it's wax and then their little, their little stamp. And this is the one month free code because uh, they're very sorry. It's valid from August 31st through December 31st of this year, which is nice because that guarantees, oh, I guess that doesn't guarantee. So, <laughs> all right, I won't be getting July's box, I guess. I, I guess I'm going to be getting September's. Or, or, no, excuse me. I guess I'm not getting August's box, it seems, because you can't use it until August 31st. So, it looks like this will be for September. I will put that on my refrigerator so that I remember. Um, I kind of don't like that, actually. Um, 
it really worries me. Like, I'm really worried right now about July's box. I should be getting my tracking number uh, probably on Monday or Tuesday. I I'm just, I'm really, really worried about this. So, I digress. I'm not going to go into, I'm not going to open these up for you guys this time, but this is the scrolls. There are scrolls of, <coughs> excuse me, there are scrolls of, um, spells and information regarding the items in the box in here, but it's, it's not like the informational packet. It's how to use the items kind of deal. And the inside is the same. Um, Sorry if I just don't sound very interested. I'm very upset with this box. Um, the inside is purple. The purple tissue paper as normal. And then all the little worms. It smells like incense. So the first thing in here, uh, it looks like I'm pulling out the herbs first this time. So this is the green witch's purse. They always include this in every box, different herbs to fit the theme. Um, and I kind of just like getting them to stock up. The green witch's purse for the court courtesan's uh, air. Looks like we got chili peppers, uh, demania, mugwort, and palo santo. And I, that's what I can smell. Um, I love palo santo. It is like it's such a good smell. I, Incense Box sends you sticks every, every month. Two sticks every month. And I don't go through them that quick at all, but they are pretty great. So this is what it looks like inside. So I got two more sticks. Good. <laughs> it smells so good. It's so overpowered. This is the Domania. I'm not sure what it is, but just to give you a little idea. Oh no, 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 no don't go in my water. Uh, it tells you the aspect, the planet, and the element. And if we get a poisonous one, which we did. I guess mugwort's poisonous? Shit. <laughs> Alright, mugwort is poisonous. Didn't know that. Um, but that's what that looks like if they're poisonous. That worries me. Holy shit. Because <laughs> there were boxes giving me... This is why this stuff needs to be labeled. Let me tell you right now. Like, what can be used and how to use it. Because I never knew mugwort was poisonous, and some of these boxes included to be burned on candles and stuff. What are you doing? <laughs> like, this is what the chili peppers look like. Normal chili peppers with the seeds. And the Palo Santo sticks. Two little short nub sticks. Not, not the same kind of size. Uh, that I get with incense box. Next thing in here is, ooh, that is really, really pretty. I'm gonna take it out for you. It's an, I think it's called an agate. <laughs> and then it is, no, it's stuck on the thing. I hate that they glue their shit. Like, just put them both in there. You don't have to glue it. This is why you don't have to glue it. You're gonna ruin it. So it is a brown agate slab. Uh, this crystal ally is known as the Earth's rainbow with markings that resemble an eye. It can be used to protect one from the evil eye, naturally balancing emotional, physical, spiritual, and mental energy. It harmonizes universal energy, yin and yang. And it's very, very pretty. It's very smooth and soft. It's very tiny, but I love it. Then next we have Looks like natural rose water, a skin tonic. This is different. We never really receive things like this in these boxes. It looks like it's in a glass container. It's so hot. And it's in a spray bottle. So it is just normal rose water from Lotus Knot, I'm assuming, because yes, it came with a little coupon code. If you guys would like to use it, oh, they're an Amazon store. If you guys would like to use this code, I will include it down below if you want to get any kinds of things like this from online. Uh, does this have an ingredients list? It's 100% rose water. Uh, it looks like it's steam distilled naturally from fresh, fresh uh, rose petals. So, I'm just gonna put that right there, but. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> Th 
this actually might be something that I go on and buy a bigger bottle of. Roses are my favorite flower. Cliche, but they are my absolute favorite flower. I, I have other favorites, but that is number one. And I love the smell of roses. And it's just beautiful. This describes the water. It has natural anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiseptic qualities. Contains a variety of nutrients and vitamins, especially high in vitamin C, known to stimulate blood circulation, balance the skin's pH levels, soothe the skin. It boosts collagen, 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 which can improve skin texture and help hair become stronger and shinier. And of course, they have their own description that it was used in ancient health and beauty rituals. Uh, it's a sacred tonic and it is used in magical blessings. It's a very treasured skin tonic that lightly cleanses, tones, soothes, heals, hydrates, and protects your skin and hair. Hmm. I do really, really love that actually. It's, it's pretty nice. The next thing in here is an egg shaped. Um, I want to say wood, but it feels more like a plastic styrofoam. Are you supposed to? There's like stuff in it. Everything is the sound of spiritual transformation. Unconsciously yielding it can alter many layers of reality to impart your magical influence along with other ritual items. A musical instrument can help you harness the four elements of self. So the little shaker. That's what it looks like. Not sure what it's made out of. It says it retails at $15. I'm not sure about that though. What I don't like in here is that they actually include this gift card as something that's in the box. So that I don't like. Um, that really, really does make me think that something went wrong with this month's box. Um, Wait a minute. Okay, I just want to read what this says for the gift card. Uh, it says, use this gift card for yourself or as a gift to someone close to you for whom you wish to inspire magic in their life. Please accept this as an apology for the delay in shipping of June's crate and the charge on your on your account before re receiving the prior month's crate. Yeah, they really kind of messed up with this. Um, because, no, because magic is a living experience that can have its own rhythm, we will be changing the renewal protocol, delaying them when the processing of shipments has been delayed. I don't like that as well, so I am glad that I'm out of this service. So it looks like if they don't think it's going to get on out on time, like the month, next month's box is going to get out on time, they're not going to charge you for it. Or this current month's box is not going to get out on time. They won't charge you for next month's. Well, you know, I don't, I don't know about that. That that worries me. Although it's good. I mean, I guess it is kind of like a safety net just in case. But the thing that blows me away, though, is the retail value of this. It says it retails. This gift card retails at twenty four fifty. It's a gift card for a free crate. So, what am I paying $60 for? 58 something, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. I pay 58 something every month. So if it retails at 24 or 50, <laughs> where's that other like 30 bucks coming from? Because there's no way I'm paying 30 bucks in shipping. So that does kind of really <laughs> blow my mind a little bit there. Uh, it says there should be one more thing in this month's box, but uh, it looks like I didn't receive it. Surprise, surprise, huh? It looks like I was supposed to get a mini hearth and incense burner. <sighs> Alright, well I guess I'm going to email them about that. I, don't, I doubt I'll get a response, but you know, whatever. So... This month has been a big kind of waste of my time and money and I'm not really happy about it. <coughs> I received one, two, three, 
four items out of the actual items in the box. I'm not including the gift card. That's ridiculous. That is not an item in this box. Um, June's box is a big letdown and it really does seem like it wasn't just a delay uh, in the shipping. It looks like something severely did go wrong over there. Um, I am missing one of the items. I'm missing the incense burner. It looks like it was a mini uh, hearth uh, for bar burning char charcoal, resin, and cones. It looks like it had star-shaped cutouts, taper. Is that what I, I wonder if it's the same exact thing that I got from um, Mystical Mojo. I am going to send them an email about that. Um, I don't know if there's any codes for this. If you are interested in joining this, I really don't recommend it, but I will put the information down below just in case you are. Um, again, I cannot give you my recommendation to sign up or do the application for this service because if you get in it, and you don't like it, you are technically trapped in this service until you get a hold of customer service. You can keep delaying your subscription, but why should you be forced to do that if you wanna leave? That's not fair. That is like, uh, they have a hold on you and that's not right. Um, so yeah, that was June's box. We'll see what happens with July's. If, if I hear back from them and I get this hurt, so maybe I'll do a mini little update um, I probably will do a mini little update anyway to see how it goes when it comes to July's box. So I guess if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Um, I will be reaching out to them on all forms of social media again, I guess, to see why, I, why am I missing an item in my box. This is the first time this box has really, really let me down and I'm very sad about it because I really looked forward to getting this every every month when it would be on my doorstep. It would be like, yes, I'm coming home to it. It really did kind of make my day and I, it always made me happy to receive. And now I just, it's not a good service anymore. So I will see you guys in my next video. I'm not sure what that might be, but I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.